Good afternoon, everybody. Dr. Corey here. Today, we're going to talk about our office space and how it relates to our desk, our low back, and our neck. In today's world, with everything crazy going on, we're either at an office desk itself, kind of confined to that area, or they've sent you home and you're stuck at your desk all day. This can cause some low back pain, some neck pain, headaches, uh, many different issues if we're not sitting the proper way or working in the space correctly. Today we're going to really focus on the chair and how I want you seated and things that you can do to help with that low back pain or the neck pain going on. So first and foremost, if you can kind of see the space that I'm at here, this desk is a little bit higher. I want to make sure that I am not sitting too high or too low to where I'm feeling crunched up against the desk or sitting too far away. What's really important though about desk height is it <clears throat> affects the way we sit. Um, this chair obviously has to be a little bit higher for me to access this desk. When seated, I want our feet placed firmly on something. I don't want them dangling all day because that does put stress on that pelvis, pulls on a lot of the muscles and puts tension on that low back, causing pain and discomfort. So if you have to have a higher chair, I want there to be a stool underneath to where our feet aren't too far down or too far up higher. Make sure that they're nice and level to where your hips are almost at a 90 degree angle there. And if we do keep, uh, feel like there's increased stress in that low back, uh, get something like a lumbar support. You can start something simple with a, a bathroom towel at home. If you fold it long ways, roll it up into a log. You can place it in that small, that low back there, or you can get a lumbar support. Um, here we have McKenzie lumbar rolls. They come in firm or soft, but they're nice because they're easy to place behind the back. So scooting your bottom as far back as you can and situate it to where it's comfortable. This right here is going to give you a tactile reminder that you need to keep that back arched a bit, not putting too much stress. But as you start to slouch, it's going to become uncomfortable and remind you, hey, I got to sit upright a little bit more. If your back does continue to hurt or you get some upper back pain, there's chairs you can always get that modify things. So ones that have higher back supports for the head and neck to make sure we're keeping nice and upright this way. A lot of people will always ask, should I get a stand up desk? Um, I like ones that you can do both, the ones that go up and down. The nice thing about a stand-up desk, so if I were to remove my chair, is I'm working from an upright position. Now, if we're standing most of the day, there's a very, very unlikely chance you're going to be standing static in one position. If I'm here at this desk, I'm gonna be moving from side to side, switching my posture around, promoting motion through my spine and my body to alleviate that buildup of tension, that buildup of pain, so it gives me the ability to move around. I can easily do my stretches, the ones that you know your physical therapist or you, you do on a day-to-day -day basis to keep nice and limber because I'm much less restricted while standing at this desk. It's really important to know our surroundings and our workplace and whether it be at a desk or at a job because it really impacts the way our low back and our body moves. So if you are feeling any pain, discomfort, definitely get it looked at, come on in. Um, stay tuned for some more videos coming forward. We're gonna really expand on our workplace ergonomics, whether that be the desk itself, the uh, situated uh, surroundings, so computer screen, uh, different things like that. A lot of good tips coming forward. 